We got all time highs in SPY and QQQ adjusted for the dividends. We still have a little bit of a ways to go for the futures charts to get there, but obviously a very bullish reaction to Powell and the FOMC. And we got monthly cup and handles confirming. And now it's just a question of what can the bulls do in blue sky breakout? How much follow through can we get? The hourly uptrends remain our guides. We have lots of space for an hourly higher low to be the result of next consolidation. We have lots of space for a daily higher low to be the result of next consolidation. We have lots and lots of space for a weekly higher low to be the result of next consolidation. My mantra for the last two weeks has been something being overextended is not enough of a reason to short. You have to have another reason. You have to either be hedging long positions. You have to have a clear resistance level that you're playing off of. You cannot short something because it's overextended. This market the last six weeks has shown us that's not a good strategy. This is unusual. This is different. This price action is screaming bull. Obviously, things can be too extended to buy. That's a great, fine strategy to have if you want to be patient and wait for consolidation. But that's not the same thing as shorting. And we know RSI levels mean much less than blue sky breakout. So congrats to the bulls. Another positive, aside from the prices shooting up today, is rotation. <laughs> Rotation. What rotation is going on? Well, today as QQQ was ripping on the FOMC reaction to higher highs, NVDA did not hit a new high. Google did not. Meta did not. Microsoft did not. This rally is happening without the Magnificent Seven leading the way. We still have potential weekly bull flags to confirm in all of those names. Netflix, Meta, Amazon, weekly bull flags in play still. So it's rotation. IWM traded sideways, ARKK traded sideways for like seven days. They shot up 3% plus. That's where the strength of this move was coming from for the most part. So back burners are absolutely on the table. We're going to watch for first five minute oversold conditions to mark an hourly higher low. First hourly oversold conditions to mark a daily higher low. We've been seeing back burners this entire move up talking about how this has been trading as if it's already in blue sky. Again, these periods of daily consolidation. Futures hit hourly oversold here. We hit hourly oversold one more time. Maybe it was there. I forget exactly where. And it led to continuation. XBI, hourly oversold, marked the daily higher low into continuation. Apple, hourly oversold into continuation. Apple's testing all-time highs. One, I forget what it is, 197. 197.70, that broke, adjusted, all-time high. So eventually, I anticipate that we'll see rotation back into the Magnificent Seven again. But again, if you are bullish big picture, this is exactly what you want to see happen. NASDAQ, same thing, everything that I just said, it's just a daily stair-step pattern. How long can we maintain a daily stair-step bounce? Off the low, we did it for nine days. We're currently on day number seven. And again, look to the futures charts for resistance now because we have nothing else to go off of. So for NQ, we're looking up at 16,760. We're there. So ES, we're looking at 4,808. So again, not quite there, 1% away, but bull's happy. Semiconductors, continuation, same thing. Everything I just said, daily stair step, back burners, no resistance. NVDA is not the reason for all of this strength. It helps. It was green today. Weekly higher low is set for NVDA. But again, it's these other names. AMD, well, not even today. MU. So MU is now getting its turn. MU weekly continuation confirmed. So again, this is just not whack-a-mole, but to a certain degree, NVDA forever, then AMD, And now today, the first time in a while, MU divided by AMD. So we've been weaker for weeks. Strength today, had strength a couple days ago. Rotation, ARM, bear break today. Definitely a bit of a red flag. The market's trying to save it. For me, I'm bullish ARM if daily EMA 12 is support. That's just my simple, clear guide. And we were saying that back here. And now that we've held it again, going to be saying it again. Just did. So I am, I've got a lot of long swing positions, definitely uh, a bit exposed to the long side, but just riding the trends. 
I do have an SPXS position. I did short, did a real good job of nailing the top on SPY. How did I nail the top? I guess I gotta prove it, huh? Uh, it closed out. Anyways, the chat room saw it. Uh, I was just watching one minute EMA 12 and saying, all right, we're really extended. I'm only long right now. It's a really good day. I'm not looking at my profit because I don't want to be making decisions based on that. I want to be making decisions based on price. And I just said, if we lose, when we lose one minute EMA 12, I'm going to short and I'm going to put my stop over the high of the day because I recognized a pattern, holding it, holding it, hold it, hold it. And then we look for that pattern to shift. It's the exact same thing as Netflix four hour EMA 12. And then we lost it and I shorted it for a swing and that marked the top and the shift. And it was the exact same thing. Trading is very hard. We want to make it as simple as we can. Find a pattern that has been consistent for a specific period of time and then act when that pattern shifts. So then I took a third profit and then down to a half position. And I kept some because my break even on this short is now a decent bit over the high of the day. And I expect to stop out, but it's the same thing that I just did with XLF and XLV. Remember, shorted XLF and XLV, took partial profit, stop out. And after today's candles, that's why you stop out of positions. The market told me, nope, you're wrong. This isn't a top yet. And I said, okay, I believe you, Mr. Market. I'm out. So ARM needs to confirm an hourly uptrend still. Nice bounce, nice volume. If we get that hourly uptrend, we're looking for all-time highs. 69. Tesla had a bear break. Tesla was a very clear bear. And so nice opportunity for bears on the morning. But again, you're not going to drop if the market's doing what it did second half of today. And we knew a weekly higher low was the most likely scenario. And so this is now the bulls trying to shape up a weekly inverse head and shoulders. And so again, same thing. We got to confirm an hourly uptrend. We got to regain a daily uptrend. But this is a quick weekly higher low trying to form. We'll see if that relative weakness, again, it's been consistent relative weakness. Tesla divided by QQQ. It fixed itself a bit into the end of the day, but this morning we were the weakest we've been compared to the NASDAQ in almost a month. Other names, I'm watching KWeb for a weekly inverse head and shoulders. If this weekly inverse head and shoulders confirms, speaking of which, I did a long-term video, a live stream this morning. That's on our YouTube channel. I did a weekend video late morning trade strategy. Watch those videos. I highly suggest doing so. They are very useful information if I do say so myself. So longer term trading strategies on the YouTube and then later morning trade strategy. Just check out all the recent videos. So KWeb, we're watching for the weekly higher low to try and set up the monthly higher low for a continued equilibrium that's a, a year in the making. So XLV rocket up, huge green day, most bullish day in a month plus. And the long-term equilibrium that I talked about in the video that we've been watching, we're now knocking on the door a fraction of a percent from breaking this bullish. And then XLV will be approaching all-time highs after trading sideways for almost two years. XLF continues to rocket the follow-through on its monthly equilibrium breaking bull. It's all-time high, still 10% away, a little bit less, but... Chugging along on the daily uptrend, nothing, to, again, just use the example on the one minute, the example on the four hour for Netflix, use it on the daily charts. Absolutely nothing changes if daily EMA 12 is support. XLF has not touched daily EMA 12 in a month and a half. Again, this is an extremely unusual move, believing the bulls. IWM, sideways for seven days, just building up the pressure. And then they get tagged in. Hey, your turn. All right, let's go. 3%, 3.5% day. And now IWM is looking up to the triple top. Big battle zone. We are 2% away from a triple top massive resistance. That's going to be a big test. If we fail, again, uh, what I hope happens is fail that test and then weekly bull flag and then get over it. ARKK, same thing sideways. And I entered ARKK post FOMC. I entered some Disney post FOMC. Disney and Penn. Disney and Penn are both trying to shape up their first weekly uptrend in years, essentially. And they've got inverse head and shoulders on their daily time frame shaping up. But 
saw that IWM was a lead bull on its sideways range and typed in the chat room, IWM, lead bull, clear break. I looked at ARKK, it hadn't done it yet. I said, watching for ARKK to follow, and then instantly market by ARKK. Sold half at 50, break even now. Again, chasing, I don't like chasing, but obviously there was a lot of momentum. And so I was in uh, maybe like 48, 90s or something. And then I sell half at 50. So now my break even, I've got cushion. I'm in control of this trade now where you know my break even is now in the upper 47s, almost near the low of the day. So I can sit through hourly consolidation and still be in a profitable position. So if I'm chasing or if I'm entering on a bull break or something like that, I'm much quicker to take some partial profit because again, then it gives me full control in the driver's seat of that trade as opposed to, you know, if I long 49 and don't take any profit, I might dip into the red next hourly consolidation. Crypto, coin, two daily inside bars. We knew volatility was coming today, obviously with the FOMC, but bull break to fresh highs. That's definitely part of the reason that ARKK is strong. We'll see if MARA and Riot follow along. MARA with a huge day. That's a big follow through inside bar bull break. Again, there's definitely euphoria out there and we don't want to be acting on euphoria. I just sent my data text, retired. Again, the keyword is retired and already in positions for decades. But my text was, the harder we run to start 2024, the more it's time to be cautious. You don't want to be putting, don't, don't let the market fool you into putting risk on from here into this strength. The time for adding was 2022 bear market or monthly consolidation in the last three months. Uh, and again, that's retired mindset where his time is a lot more limited in terms of time being in the market. So Disney, inverse head and shoulders on the daily. Again, Penn and Disney are the same charts. I don't know if that's because of ESPN or what, but both, again, Penn is, they're, they're going for the daily trend change to confirm the weekly uptrend for the first time. I mean, these are, the market's running out of laggards, right? These are clearly still laggards. PayPal, extremely tight. No, never mind. It was. Dollar, weekly bear flag, rejecting from EMAs. They're trying to cross bear. Metal bulls really needed this. And again, I said yesterday, you know, I've been, I've been sitting through. This is something I've had to work on with my increase in swing trading. I am not used to sitting through drawdowns. And so, you know, I've got a lot of experience trading, but over the last week, my mindset has been, oh, should have taken more profit on that gold and silver blow off top because my IRA has been dropping each day this past week. And then today is the, the biggest IRA day that I've ever had. And so I'm proud of that for, you know, okay, sitting through the consolidation, you're still in a weekly uptrend. You are holding this position for the long term. And so now if the dollar can confirm this weekly bear flag and break 102.46, gold finally putting in a bottom. Again, more proving needed. We need a four hour uptrend. It's a great start. That's gotta be the weekly higher low. So now I'm moving my stops up for everything. And we got right down towards where my entries were. So at least in some names. And so now my stop goes there. If we break the low from here, that's a big enough red flag where I'm done with the metals for a while. So I like the fact that I've got a new clear level now and we'll see what these metal bulls can do with it. Silver, finally shifting momentum. Again, follow through needed. Bulls wanna see 50% plus retracement. Silver's at 3.6 or 382. Gold still has a lot of work to do. So it's a start. Miners, huge day. This has been the biggest drain on my IRA. And, you know, it's just a, in, in hindsight, it's just going to be a bull flag on my IRA consolidation the last week. But every day, just oh, still no bottom. Come on. So we'll see if these are weekly higher lows into continuation. One thing that will tell us that the market is shifting from all bull control will be when back burners stop working. If we hit hourly oversold and get a bounce going and drop to a lower low, red light flashes in my brain. Things are shifting. This is not ideal full bull control right now. So I use back burners to trade and I use them for information on the market as well. Oil. 
Bear flag confirmed with no follow through. Gotta be cautious that that might be marking a temporary bottom. Falling wedge watch, more of a channel, but downtrending support. And so, bulls would need to get over 71.96 in the next few days for that to be the case. But again, just saying, okay, bears have full control, weekly, daily downtrend, but got to put on our bull goggles and say, all right, we don't, you know, if I'm a bear, I don't like seeing that bear break with no follow through. So let's see how it shifts from here. Hope you had a good day. Again, the, the takeaway is, you know, no FOMO, no chasing. That's what back burners are for. Google chart guys, back burners to watch that in-depth video if you have not seen it. And do not short something just because it's overextended. Do good things. See you tomorrow.